What's up guys, Black Holder, and welcome back to another video, and today we're back on Pro Stack Manager 2020 for stage number 3 of our playthrough uh, on the Giro d'Italia with the Konunk Quick Step. Today is the first mountain stage of this race, as it will take us from Enna to the Etna, 144 kilometers that awaits the riders today. If you haven't seen the previous episodes, I highly recommend you to go and check them out. Um, but as I said, today is a mountain stage, um, so we can hope for James Knox to have a good day. The same applies to Fausto Masnada and potentially Joe Almeida if uh, the uh, young Portuguese rider would like to help us uh, with, uh, with a good race day form. But yeah, without further ado, let's jump in for, uh, for this race and see, uh, well, see what we can do. All right. Uh, first of all, I apologize if you hear any sort of background noise. Uh, because I'm now in a student place, I guess, uh, there's quite a lot of people around uh, making noise. I mean, it's it's 1am, uh, but there, there's like parties and shit out here. It, apparently, it looks like COVID hasn't affected them. Um, but for those who are attending parties, just respect uh, every regulation, I guess. Just wear your mask, stay safe and that. Uh, I don't want to be like your parents or anything <laughs> teaching you what to do, but just it's common sense. But yeah, people in Germany are extremely different from uh, from people in France, but that'll be for another time, that'll be for another video, not for PCM. Uh, you guys aren't here to listen to me ranting about people in Germany. Um, but yeah, so this stage, as I said, is 144 kilometers between Enna and the Etna. We have a plus two on James Knox, putting him at 80 mountain. Uh, I had said at the start of the tour, my objective was stage wins and uh, potentially a mountain jersey, M mainly the white jersey. The white jersey is my main objective with uh, with James Knox. So I feel like I'll have to uh, either focus on the white uh, jersey or on the mountain one. I feel like my main composition will be Vlasov, uh, and Vlasov will most likely have to work for either Lopez or Fulsang. Someone like Sam Oman could potentially have his, uh, a, a free card. The same goes for Attila Valt. Actually, no, he's got Zakarin. Yeah, I feel like I'm somewhat safe for the white jersey, uh, but let's try not to uh, to be a dickhead and not lose it like I lost the, the, the Tour de France with Thibaut because that was quite sad. Um, but yeah, we've got some attempts at a breakaway. We've got Luca Covidi for uh, Bargiani CSF, Stefano Oldani for Lotto Sudal, Oldani who also races for Williams Martini. The series will come back in a few days. Can't tell you when because I haven't recorded it yet and I haven't had time to settle or do anything of the sort. We've got Larry Warbus for Al Desert. We've got Diego Lissi. It's big. That's a big name. It's probably why the breakaway isn't able to go actually. But we've got Diego Lissi for UAE, Jaco Hannanen for Al Desert Mondial for two riders for Al Desert, Warbus and Hannanen. Sandro Semitier and Jesper Hansen are in pursuit, and it is Eduardo Affini, Marci Bodnar, Aina Rubio, and Michael Hepburn trying to lead the chase. Alvaro Urge is the first rider dropped from the peloton. And I think we've got the first withdrawal. Oh, the, wow. The green jersey. Oh, wow. Hold up. I'm, I'm messing around the colors. The pink jersey of Garen Thomas is on the ground. I hadn't seen that. That's why the entire team of Ineos is stopping. The same for Raja de I don't know who's their leader. Potentially Tony Galopin? Why are they stopping? I don't know, but Matthias Brendel is the first rider to withdraw from the tour. Uh, from the Giro, I guess. Uh, and the peloton has... Oh god, the peloton is pacing. Oh, the peloton is pacing. The peloton is pacing because Garin Thomas is down. Salvatore Puccio, Jonathan Castroviejo, Ron Dennis, Jonathan Narvaez, Ben Swift, Theo Guggenhardt are leading the chase. No sons of Filippo Ghana. Where's Ghana? Has he stayed in the peloton? Oh, yeah, because what is Jersey, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, makes sense. Um, but yeah, Garen Thomas is the first leader to be down. And the Gruppetto is starting to form itself um, with Filippo Ghana actually waiting for his teammates with Ineos. Um, I'm, I'm surprised at um, the um, management from Ajazar. Are they maybe waiting for Vendrame? Could Vendrame on paper could be their leader? Uh, I, I mean, I had a gone. Oh, it's actually Galopin, actually, and Galopin dropped. Makes sense. Um, the, a lot of riders are getting dropped because of the rhythm of um, of uh, Mitchell and Scott, although they have stopped pacing, so I would expect some riders to come back. Uh, however, I'm still going to try and maybe pace, maybe do, be the one leading the, cha the charge. Uh, it is a blessing for me to have a Garen Thomas being dropped. Uh, I mean, I said I'm not going to fight for the GC, but if I can knock out a contender in stage three, 
I mean, I'll happily take it. Masnada got dropped, trying to get uh, water. Geraint is on his own. Geraint Thomas is on his own. Interesting. Very interesting. Also, Ballerine is dead. Uh... Okay, I don't know what to do now. Masnada was the final piece of the puzzle. And he's gone. I can't count on Kaisa and Hudge. They're dead. They, they fucked off to another dimension. Uh, okay. I'm not sure what to do. I'm unsure what to do now. Alright, Masnada was able to join. Uh, there's been another crash involving uh, so Viviani, I think. McNulty, uh, and we've got a second withdrawal. Alfredo Torres from Movistar out of the Giro. That's two withdrawals uh, in today's uh, today's stage. Quite a quite a tough one for uh, the leaders. Also, Frole Michael Frolichonore is still here, uh, but not for long. Fausto though, Fausto is doing bits today. Fausto is doing bits. We'll have Pizzeri protecting James Knox as Honor is dead. Withdrawal from Torres, as previously mentioned. Uh, we're going to have a little downhill portion. Geraint looks knackered. He's going to be able to recover, though, in this portion. And then we'll start the Etna. Uh, and we'll see if the uh, 2019 Tour de France winner has anything left in the tank to maybe try and catch the, uh, the peloton. And we've started the Etna. We have started the Etna. Ballerini can stop his job. We're going to have Peter Seri just in, in case in the wheel of, um, of Masnada. And we're gone. We're done, we're gone, we're gone, we're gone, we're gone. 2 minutes 20 on the group behind. Geraint Thomas will not come back on the main peloton today. That is one of the biggest favourites, if not the biggest favourite of this Giro to be out of the race very early on. Another group concerning riders have been... Oh, Vlasov. Vlasov was my main opponent for the white jersey and he's gone as well. Tony Galopin making moves. Tony Galopin is going to... I mean, he's, he's, he's dropped Garen Thomas. He's left him in, 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 in light years behind. Fucking hell. Uh, is that... Ch Did I see Chicone? No, no, no. I think my eyes were deceiving me here. Masnada got dropped. Um, a lot of riders are currently getting dropped. Nope, I've made a mistake here. Okay, a lot of riders are getting dropped. Only 28 riders left in the leading group. As Ben O'Connor, uh, Matthias Obrero, and Ruben Guerrero have uh, been gone. Tony Galopando still climbing, uh, but he's probably going to be uh, feeling a bit tired in the, the upcoming like meters. It would make sense. Joseph Sani dropped. Pern Steiner dropped. The leader of uh, Baron McLaren. Although they still have Bilbao in the... Uh, yeah, they still have Bilbao. Attacks, attacks. This Qualo has attacked with Miguel Angel Lopez. 32 seconds for the two escapees as Joe Almeida has uh, done everything he could for James Knox. We're going to try and stay in this group as Steven Krovac is imposing the rhythm. Still 30 seconds, as I said, for the two riders in uh, the front group. Who is that? Is that Carl Frederick Hagen? It is. Carl Frederick Hagen is getting dropped. James Knox... Trying to stay with the leaders group, which he does very successfully as of now. Attack from Kroivike. Yates follows. Rafa Maika doesn't. Simon Clark is still here. What a climb from Simon Clark. Really, really impressing me here. Impressing me. Yates. Oh, Yates. Oh, Yates is gone. Yates is finished. Simon Yates is actually gone. Wow. This stage is going to create... Much more damage than I uh, had anticipated as Vincenzo Nibali goes for a second move. Kovac came back on him. Miguel Angel Lopez cracks. Miguel Angel Lopez has cracked. Same for Wilco Kelderman. Vincenzo Nibali is on his way to win at the Etna here. 40 seconds for the squalor. We're going to try and now come back on Miguel Angel Lopez. We're going to make our efforts with James Knox. As we are going to lead Koivak, Put de Vivo has exploded. James Knox comes back and Miguel Angel Lopez and immediately drops the Colombian. Only Koivak able to follow James Knox. We're going to catch Vincenzo Nibali actually. We're going to catch Vincenzo Nibali. It's going to be a three way battle for the winner, the Etna. James Knox against Nibali against Koivak. I have very little energy. Uh, I won't be able to sprint. Vincenzo can though. And Vincenzo Nibili wins at the Etna ahead of James Knox and Steven Kroivike. What a climb by the Brit today. Impressive. Absolutely impressive. Miguel Angel Lopez comes home in fourth place, nearly a minute behind Put de Vivo, Kelderman, Yates losing basically two minutes and a half, something along those lines. 
uh, Simon Clark with a very impressive climb. Rafa Maika, uh, Bilbao can get. Where is the main man though? Full song also disappointing climb. But where is the man that we were all talking about? Garen Thomas. Big, big loser today. is going to lose basically eight minutes. Uh, that's two wins in two for Vincenzo Nibali. Uh, two wins in two road stages, actually. Uh, but he takes a win today, 14 seconds ahead of James Knox, 24 on Kroivak, 59 seconds on Lopez. And then the gaps are already massive. 138 on Pozzuivo, 242 on Yates, 3 minutes on Peo Bilbao. Vincenzo Nibali takes a massive option on the win of this Giro. It is still very early to call it, um, but it is... Already, basically, 45 seconds on Kroivak, a minute on James Knox, 123 on Miguel Angel Lopez, and then you've got Yates at 3.23. The Grenadiers have been absolutely destroyed today due to uh, Garin's crash. Vincenzo also takes the lead in the mountain classification, but James Knox will be wearing that jersey, as Vincenzo Nibili also takes the lead in the point classification. Garin Thomas will be the holder of the point jersey. And finally, James Knox will be in white, but it will be Lucas Hamilton wearing the white jersey. Alexander Vlasov, who I considered my main opponent, being 8 minutes and 23 seconds down, I think the white jersey is already sealed for the Brits. The best team uh, is now EF. Ineos Grenadiers have disappeared from any classification. Sure, the plus two helped me massively, uh, but it feels weird. With a start list like this, there's no team that paces and just is too good for the others. So it's quite fun, actually. It's actually quite fun to play. Uh, and it allowed us to get second today with James Knox, just behind, as I said, this Um It's a good start of the tour, but let's not get carried away. Let's not um, think of ourselves bigger than we actually are. Uh, the aim, as I said, was still a stage win in the white jersey. Um, not the GC. If we can finish on the podium, it is brilliant. But that's not where we came for. Uh, although we basically have sealed the top five right now. Um, but yeah, let's not get focused on that. Let's still focus on the stages. And up next will be stage four between Catania and Villafranca Tirena. We'll see if Alvaro Hutch can get across that hill uh, in bang in the middle of the stage, 138 kilometers race. So quite a quite a short one. We'll see if Alvaro Hutch can go over it. If he cannot, we'll sprint for Ballerini. But if the Colombian can uh, climb this uh, this massive hill, then you better be sure. Then we'll see him in the final sprint. But that'll be for tomorrow's video. I do hope you've enjoyed this one. If you did, then please do leave a like down below. If you're new on here, then please do consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I shall catch you in the very near future, but my name has been Blackwall. It has been an absolute pleasure talking to you guys. Have a great one, and goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm bleeding. What the mother man need feeding? I don't want to go bombi. Them, I don't know what I do when I go from mealing. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bad. Snapping with a phone and dab. I'll stop him out with the duster. Put him in the drip and sip, blockbuster.